Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Inner will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11.
for the first time in years. I felt like I was home. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. My Grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan, but I had no idea what was behind that door. was going to lead. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. I kept eating and eating. of things that night. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. 
I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Mama Rabbit. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And into the ocean. Now I was hungrier than ever. I wanted fat, juicy seals.
heard for a while. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. smell went into an old pipe. I got closer and closer. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. All right. <clears throat> so that was the end of episode one. Uh, I'll continue from there. And eventually I will get through all of them. But, you know, uh, that was episode one. And I hope you enjoyed it. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll catch you next time. And see ya.